anticipated greatly. Yeah, we don't often see the... Yeah. Well, he knows how to break serve. Did a lot of that last season. Well picked off by Nori after the great get. Kept that ball low, making Nori hit up and then pounced. Oh, a bit of help. Over hits it. And we are going the distance. Oh, that was difficult. He made it look simple. A finalist last year in Leo, Cam Nori is through to the semifinals this time around. Part two, the sequel between Michael Moe and Manuel Guinard. That's a super tennis point as well. Unbelievable finish. And the last Frenchman standing in Lyon is still standing. Manuel Guinard into the quarterfinals. Oh, he's going over the net. Crafty. Would you believe it? Gorgeous. Oh, that's the best of the lot. and better for Manuel Guinard. That is the second set. He's on his racket. Two more service holds. Goes for the underarm serve, and he's really struggling. Can't push off at all. He's just wow! Hit an ace. Goodness, that is unbelievable. How has Holger Uhn been able to close this match out?
I'm not sure even he knows. There were lines of plenty in that rally, but it ends with that drop shot into the net before the US Open. Look at that heavy hitting on the forehand. Closing down the net very nicely after doing the hard work. On a second Dreaming set point, Alex Dibinor takes the first set. Ladies and gentlemen, due to injury, Mr. Watanuki is forced to retire. Dibinor wins. Too good. Come. Nice tour. Je Malta. Well, that is the end of an extraordinary set of tennis. It started with four breaks of serve problems. Because the thing is, it makes you start that first strike. Made it beautifully. That's a fine finish to a fine performance from Alex Molchan. He wins the battle with the elements and with Federico Correa to book his place in the last four in Lyon.